It is a, a little bit outside my comfort zone, but part of me is super fascinated with it, and I am really gonna give it a go, and that is I just buy L.S. Larson. Now, I just actually stands for the Intergalactic Institute of Science and Technology. It's like a space MIT. This is a futuristic YA novel, and I believe that there is actually an app that you can download that you can be involved with while you read this book. So I'm gonna see how that's gonna work. This is an amazing app with galaxies, etc., etc. It's just an interactive book, and that just sounded so cool to me, and it was definitely something I wanted to read. So this is the first page of the book. I'm going to put the camera in there and as you can see it changes and you can see like the picture moving or whatever and this is just amazing. Is this the future? This is a science, uh, science fiction YA novel about an institute that is or, um, orbiting the moon and young kids that go there. And the school teaches them about technology and science and they're supposed to use these skills to like bridge galaxies. It's a school for Martians. So this book is on Emmy and she's like, I'm a human, I want to go. People are talking about going and living on Mars. Like it's not impossible. I think there'll be a space school at some point. So we can see aspects of our world in this world. I'm really excited to try out this book and I think it's perfect for a sci-fi read. This is how you're gonna read books in the future. This is just amazing and the cover is gorgeous and I love the main characters here, her eyes. She is willing to do whatever it takes to be able to go to this school because it's what she's always wanted to do. It's described as a Star Wars meets Harry Potter. I think it sounds really fun. I think it's something different, something that I have never done. I've never read a book with an app and sort of combined them together. I know the author said that he specifically wrote this book because there's not a lot of women in STEM. I love seeing women in science and I love seeing uh, women in technology and all the amazing things that they can achieve through that. I really enjoyed it because it was just about kind of like following your dreams and not letting anything stop you, even in the face of tragedy or shortcomings or disadvantages. You can still meet your goals. And I just thought it was super relatable as well. Like, even little things, like she's waiting for this application and she comes home every day and she's wanted it to be there and I remember that stress when I was waiting for uni applications or exam results and it was it just had those really relatable elements to it which I really appreciated and was also a really good sci-fi novel. I'm really excited about it. I did really enjoy it. I had so much fun reading it and I thought it was really, really cool. And you can get it and you can uh, download the app and turn it into an experience.